scene for us. I'm going to bring in John Andres. Of course, John, you last year were an official uh, as far as the dunk goes. What can we look for in today's competition? Rick, there's going to be a lot of sweat out there. I know these guys take this very seriously. There's a lot of competitive juice is working. There's also over $30,000 that the Gatorade Company has put up for this event. A lot of uh, young guys out there. They're not the high earners income-wise in the NBA, so there's a lot of a chance of a big exposure here, and the young guys are looking forward to it. Gerald Wilkins was a late addition. Orlando Woolrich got hurt. He's out here from the Knicks. He's very excited. He may jump over a chair with someone sitting on it if Dominique gives him enough uh, to work with out there. Jerome Kersey in addition. Uh, I like Roy Hinson, too, a quiet guy no one speaks about. Hey, well, Roy talked about the fact that he said he's going to win. He thinks he's the best. Well, he's the biggest guy, and he's got an unbelievable stretch out there when he extends his arms. But, of course, the emotional oh. hometown favorite, five foot seven inch Spud Webb. From this area, uh, has gotten a lot of national publicity lately, a great leaper, and he will really turn the crowd on. But I don't think he's a, a, a contestant to win this thing. All right, and speaking of who you think might be able to win, I have my favorite. I think Dominique Wilkins is going to win this thing, John. I think he should have won the first year. He won last year in convincing fashion. I pick him to be a second-time winner this year. That's very conservative, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I like Gerald Wilkins' brother. Dominique's a vertical leaper. Gerald sort of goes horizontal, and I think that might get the crowd going, particularly if he jumps over someone sitting in a chair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, let's talk uh, about the rules. All right. This is a very uh, uh, loose situation here. There are three rounds. Dominique, as last year's champion, immediately goes to the semis, so he watches seven people compete in the first round. But then there will be four guys in the semis, including Dominique Wilkins, and they get three dunks each in the first two rounds. The last round, there'll be only two dunks as they go for the championship. They get 24 seconds. You can walk with the ball, no problem. You can use two basketballs. If you miss a dunk, which is very interesting, you can actually miss up to two dunks and still come out and do it again. It won't go against you. Although a final miss will only be five points. And it's a scoring based on one to 10. Creativity, athleticism, and style are the guidelines here. So there's lots of rooms. I was telling Gerald Wilkins yesterday, coming down from Utah, you got to use a lot of motion out there. That's what really turns on the judges. Okay, well, the crowd is ready to go. Let's take a look before we get started at who the judges are for the competition. And the judges, from left to right, Tom Sanders of the Celtics, Roger Staubach from football fame, Kazi Russell, former NBA player, Martina Navratilova, and Dave Cowens, the former Celtic great. And now, Spud's first attempt in the dunk competition, and John, it looks like he's measuring things out uh, pretty closely. Well, he is. He's got a flair for the dramatic, Rick, and he's a hometown guy. The crowd really loves him, and he's fresh off his visit on The Tonight Show the other night, so uh, he's got a flair. <laughs> oh! John, that ball looked like it hit Spud and came out. That's yeah, what he's saying. It hit him in the head, I think, and bounced back out of the basket. It looked like it, he didn't make the shot, though. Well, we're going to have to get an official ruling from Norm Drucker. You see him saying that the ball hit me. Yes, he got it in the basket. That's what he's claiming. And there's Norm checking out. They're giving him the ball. Looks like he's going to have to take another attempt. Norm is still staying over by the table, though, Rick. Let's see what, what gives here. Spud still questioning it. Norm getting a <laughs> getting some information from some of the other officials. Even the judges, Dave Cowens, you see, saying that it came yeah, back Yeah, Cowens said it out. went down. Right there, you saw the gesture off of the head. Martina also just verifying that. Let's take a look at the replay. Here it is. Oh, definitely threw no him right on the forehead. No Bounced question right about out. it. Look how high up he is. Five feet seven. A little less mad in the competition. And his score, 46 points. So Spud Webb, get, Spud Webb gets things off to a flying start. His teammate, Dominique Wilkins, defending champion, congratulating him. A little uh, extra respect there, I think, from that glance of Dominique. Now, Terrence Stansbury, first round, his first attempt, he had 34. Whoa! Oh, that's the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty, 360, and that's what turned him on in Indiana last year when he finished third in the slam dunk. Stansbury had a little difficulty in the first round, missed his first two attempts, came back, and there it is in slow motion, <laughs> the 360 Statue of Liberty. I thought he might save that, but he went to it right away. Right, of course, he came in third last year in that competition, and in Indiana had his big cheering section with him, his coaching staff. Yeah, he has a staff of advisors here. <laughs> now the second dunk of Roy Henson. The first round, had a 35. Ah, uh, basic slam off the uh, right wrist there. Roy at 
six nine and a half is the tallest competitor this year. John, he's more like a power dunker. Doesn't seem like he really gets a tremendous amount of creativity in his dunks. Let's take another look at it. A little cuff job. Yeah, that's uh, real nice when there's nine other men on the court. But for this contest, it's a little basic. There's not much flair there from Roy. Well, he said that uh, he thought he could win because he was the best. He certainly gets great elevation, but he doesn't have a lot of charisma when he goes up. I mean, I'd like to have his bad dunks. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the guy who's shaking up the New York Knicks lineup, Gerald Wilkins. He's in for Orlando Woolridge, who couldn't make it this year because he hurt his hand. Well, he shook him up with a 44 in his first attempt. Here goes for the second try. Over the chair! Oh! All right. <laughs> He talked about that the other day. He wanted to do something special, and that was it. He put that chair about four feet out in front of the basket. Well, he didn't put it there. Trent Tucker put it there. His teammate. Yeah, his teammate. <laughs> Another look over the chair. Isn't that incredible? And I'll tell you, Rick, he is no taller than six foot five. Well, the smaller guys, it seems that it creates some sort of an illusion that they're doing more. The big guys, it doesn't seem like they have to take quite as much effort to do it. So the little guys have a little advantage in that respect. Well, now, here. Terry Tyler. Terry Tyler is the oldest competitor here at 29 years old. Now a member of the Sacramento Kings. Let's see what he brings. Oh, All your right. basic stuff, That's John. Your basic, your basic stuff. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's starting out easily. A lot of guys figure they want to start out and save their best stuff for later. Unfortunately, though, if the first stuff isn't good enough, he won't get to the second round. Another look, Perry Tyler. He really said that he did his best jumping uh, when he was back in college. He had a 45-inch vertical leap, and, and it looks like uh, he's lost a little bit of that, John. <laughs> Terry looks like he's tired a little bit now. 36, so not a very good score for Terry Tyler. Now the third try of Jerome Kersey. Whoa! Off the backboard, one-handed slam. Jerome had 39 and 43 in his two previous attempts, and uh, this player plays with reckless abandon, and he dunks exactly the same way. Here he goes, off the glass. Oh, Look at his head, almost wow. at the rim level. Michael Thompson, his teammate in his rookie year, called him Jerome Crazy. <laughs> his third attempt, a 47. So an outstanding effort on the part of Jerome Kersey. Well, he had a lot of creativity on that one, and certainly a lot of athleticism. Now Paul Pressey, his third attempt. He had 44 and 35. Oh, again, just more or less kind of your basic cuff dunk and not a lot of creativity there, John. Paul Pressey just finished that stuff. Not too high in the air. I mean, Paul works out of the backcourt as a point forward for Don Nelson. Take another look at it. A basic dunk. Another one of those much more effective when there are nine other guys on the court. Well, yes, John. He started off with a 44, 35, and now a final 37. And previous attempts with Spud Webb on his final try. Oh, oh no. Beauty. He just got some advice from Calvin Murphy before he did that one. And the fans holding up their tens. The local favorite, Spud Webb. And this floor, John, is a new floor just for this weekend. And the fellow who put it down was telling me that it has a lot of spring in it. And Spud Webb showing you that indeed it does have spring, but he has got springs in his legs. Let's take another look at that move. There's the two-hand plant, two-footed plant, the double clutch, and he takes it home. Not only does he get up there, but he hangs, Rick. You know, I'm picking up some uh, anticipation here of a 50 47 for Spud Webb on his third and final attempt here in the first round. And there's some boos. The crowd thought that was a 50. Now here's Terrence Stansbury. We've got a dunk off. He is tied with Jerome Kersey. Ooh. And he catches his own pass, double clutch and hold. And that's the move that he missed in his first attempt earlier when he uh, missed two times consecutively and had to go conservatively. What a special move. And on the dunk off, Kersey tries to go for the two ball dunk. Comes up a little bit short on the second one. And that means Terrence Stansbury wins the first round dunk off and he will move into the semifinals.